What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the show. So, I got this week's comments, and I got to admit, I had a hard time picking a pick of the week until the end. But, with that said, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, and send me some likes. So, first book we have up is Batman Incorporated, number eight. And this is the introduction of Joker's Incorporated, which I kind of like. So there's a Joker or a Joker-like in each places where there's a Joker Incorporated member. And I like it so far. Then I have Batman White Knight Presents Generation Joker. And this basically takes place where the virtual Joker or Jack Napier is going on a road trip with his kids. And I guess they get kidnapped somewhat with a new villain, I guess. So, yeah. And then you got Neo Joker and Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy together. So, also a good book, too. And then we got Rogue and Gambit number three. Now, this is just them still trying to find Manifold. And they go to Forge's lab to try to get help from him. And Gambit blow up the lab because Forge is lying to them about a suit that he made to help find mutants. So, and I don't get why Destiny doesn't like Gambit. I mean, I know he's a dick and everything, but Rogue loves him, so get over it. That's my two cents. Then we have Nemesis Reloaded number five, the conclusion. And he always, always gets his man at the end. But I love the end where you find out what happened to all the heroes, which they used to be heroes in this world. And you get to find out what happened. So that's it. And then we have Ghost Rider number 14. I've been reading this lately, I think at the last three, because I wanted to find out what happened to Danny Ketch. I know he probably getting his own book back later on, so I wanted to catch up and see what's happening. And this cover is very leading because they didn't even fight. They didn't even show up and meet yet, which was I'm upset about. Oh, I got tape on here. So, yeah. But why not? That's really why I got that book, just to see what's up with Danny Catch. And he with the FBI. They're trying to... And I am back. Had to answer a phone call. Had my phone company calling me, so I'm back now. So, anyway. Ghost Rider, like I said... I just wanted to check up on Danny Cat and see what's up with him. So, next book we have, and I told you this was my pick of the week last week for a free comic book day, is Spirit World number one. And this is a continuation from the free comic book day comic. We had all three comics in that one book. and So you get to see what happened to Batgirl. And you get to see what happened to... Constantine and the other girl. I ain't gonna lie, I cannot remember her name. Is that Zan Zanath? Zentina? Z anyway, she's working with Constantine, trying to get back to Spirit World and trying to save um Batgirl. And I, I like I said, I'm enjoying this book so far. So yeah, it turns out that everything when people Tribute, give tribute to the dead. It goes to Spirit World as paper. And that's basically what she used. She used paper weapons which in the real world that turn into real things. So, which I kind of like. So, yeah. So, then we have Nocturra number 14. 
in in la in this issue they reminiscing well the brother is having flashback of when he met his mom a long time ago and and in this world they are talking to the people that the alien race who only say like a handful of humans and and how they is basically trying to talk down to them, I guess, and try to give their reason why they did what they did. And Nocturne, what well, I Nocturne, I call her Nocturne. The um, sister and them are not having it. They're very upset. And you turn out, and then the people give them a reason why, again, why they did what they did. But <clears throat> it's not sitting very well. And then they gave him an ultimatum. You could either stay there or you could go. And then you see Bill. I guess he survived the little encounter they just had. And now he's there at EOS. So, yeah. So I think I'm going to give this... I mean, 15 might be my last issue. I think I might be done with this book. I'm not fairly entertained with it anymore, so 15 maybe my last, so we will see, and then the final book is Wildcats number seven, and here you see what happened to um, Drifter, it turns out that Void, when they try to disappear people or face someone with death, Void sent him to an alternate universe with that person there. He kills him there and then bring him to this world to fake that person's death. And now he basically is going to jump from time to time with universe to universe and he can't stop himself. So that's what this issue is about. And you're trying to figure out who the good guys and who the bad guys right now. And if I'm correctly in the comic book, the original comic book, Imp. Well, Marlo was the bad guy somewhat also. And I think they're doing the same thing here too. They're making Imp secretly the bad guy. So, yeah. But, with that said, my pick of the week is... Ready for this? <sighs> Nemesis Reloaded. I picked this because at the end of the book, you find out who Nemesis really was working for. And it turns out it's Wesley Gibson from the Wanted comic books. So he's the bad guy. And he just offered Nemesis into the fraternity. That was a good ending to me. And I'm so upset because I just sold my wanted number one. <laughs> Go figure. So yeah. So that's my number this is my pick of the week. All because of that ending. So yes. Until next time. Peace. And I'll see you when I see you. Oh, happy Mother's Day. No, no.